This video is going to be on assembly and use of the rotary device for the UV2400 series of printer. We're going to start with our bed attachment, then we're going to assemble the rotary itself, and then we're going to put our final attachment onto the printer. So let's start with uh, our bed attachment. It comes with four brackets here and a fifth bracket that is different than the others. Uh, you'll notice that this one has threads in it and it's also a little bit longer where the holes are. So make sure you don't confuse these. All right, so we're gonna start by uh, putting these brackets into place. This is the rear of the printer bed attachment. And you'll notice that these holes up here are face up uh, with the uh, ex expansion slot face up. So to attach this, we're going to start by putting it in place, lining up the screw holes, and then using the provided Phillips screwdriver to screw these in. Uh, they don't need to be cranked down incredibly tight. Once they stop, you can stop screwing. Once we have those four in place, we are now ready to attach our last attachment. Uh, do note that we're not gonna screw this down tight as of yet, we're just gonna put the screws in, make sure everything's in there. Once we put the bed attachment onto the printer, that's when we're gonna tighten these down for good. Now we need to attach the risers for the rotary itself. So we're gonna flip the rotary upside down to where we have the larger holes facing up and find the end of the bar that has the screw hole in it. And then we're going to attach onto the frame. Once these two are in place, the rotary is completely assembled and we are ready to move on to attaching this piece to the printer's frame. We will need an adjustable wrench for this step. All right. To attach our attachment to the printer, we're gonna need to first lift the acrylic door and then the entire printer cover. This piece is gonna go into position to where the center red light is encompassing this hole. And then we're gonna attach it to the frame with an adjustable wrench
Now that we have this piece attached, we're going to attach the bed extender and completely tighten that down as well. To attach the bed extender, we're first going to pull the bed all the way to the forward position and then we're going to attach it with the brackets on the back of the plate in the rear of the printer. Once we have this on, we can push the forward bracket against the printer's bed and finish tightening down our screws. Okay, and that bed attachment is attached. So now the rotary can go onto the printer's bed. You can tune into our next video to see how we use this rotary device in the LogoJet printer. If you run into any problems doing this, reach out to LogoJet Support, we're always there to help.